Mark Anthony here for Sigma TV. I'm in the company of Michael Grimes, a principal of GGR Asia. Michael, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. I'm doing much better as well now that we've been honored with this award. So thank you for that. My absolute pleasure. How does it feel to be um, uh, to win actually such a prestigious award? Well, it's it's meaningful, especially when you're up against robust opposition. And we were up against some robust opposition. So that's nice. Well, indeed you were, and of course you have um, uh, you have overcome all those all those all those big competitors. You have placed yourself on the very front, and Sigma has recognized you for that. And uh, I'm very honored to be in your company today. Um, how has how has Sigma been for you so far? It's been very good. Uh, there is just one tiny tiny thing I would ask for, if you don't mind, which is to have booth numbers. <laughs> Because I've been wearing out my shoes trying to find certain places, but I hope that I hope that won't be taken. I hope that will be taken as a constructive thing. Most definitely. Yeah, okay. No, it's a very interesting show, and people are very, very busy, and so that's great to see. And of course, with the hospitality that you get in the Philippines, there's always plenty going on. What would you say is the is is your your absolute highlight? Uh, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, obviously, uh, the uh, PagCorp chairman's uh, commentary on the idea of uh, CasinoFilipino.com was very interesting because that, how that's going to play out is going to be very interesting indeed. Great. Um, let's dive into um, uh, the, the actual, the actual uh, GGR Asia. Mm -hmm. Tell me a bit more about it. Okay, so it's, it's basically a, a B2B website with news about the Asia-Pacific casino industry and also the online sector of the industry. And we've been going for nine years. This will be our 10th time, 10th year next time. And so we've been doing this for quite a while. And we're all seasoned professionals. Um, some of us are older than others, but we've all worked either in the national media in Europe or in business media in Hong Kong and Macau. And I like to think it shows in a good way. Well, I'm guessing you have um, uh, quite a good followership, uh, engagement on, on, on your site. Um, guide me a bit through that. Um, uh, how, how is it that you keep, um, uh, you keep with all the, all the, all the um, uh, engagement that you get up? Well, I mean, I think the, it's, to some extent it's for others to judge it. But I think what we try to do is we try to avoid editorializing. We try to be quite robust in terms of the questions we ask. I try to, and I know my colleagues, we try to ask the questions that you would want to be answered rather than just what people think they would want to hear. Uh, I think that's important. Well, uh, um, so, so, so basically, then you have a platform of, of very highly opinionated um, individuals, right? That um, uh, Well, it's not so much highly in opinionated individuals. I mean, what you have is we try to find people who are experts in their field. So but basically, it's news without us editorializing. So if there's comment, it's comment by other people, not by us. And we think that's important. So GGR Asia, um, why, why did you choose Sigma? Well, because it was one of the first shows to really handle, well, in, in our perception anyway, uh, in a comprehensive way, what's happening in the online gaming industry in the Philippines. And I think that was partly good luck and, and also partly good management because it's this big event that's coming just after the reopening of nearly all the markets for live events, live business events. Brilliant. And of course, um, with, with, your, with your positive comments, I, 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 I'd love to assume that we'll be seeing you at a few other expos of ours. I, I think if, uh, if we can certainly if we can find uh, interest from the readers and also uh, we can have budget to come, I'm sure we can do it. Brilliant. Um, I, I know you'd like to elaborate a little bit on the Sigma Foundation. Is that right, Michael? Yes. I mean, I was because I was there when uh, the PagCorp chairman stayed with your founder, or sorry, with the Sigma founder, I should say, to hear the foundation's head talk about that. And of course, the gaming industry gets a, a pretty bad rap from the general media. So it was interesting to know what was going on with this foundation, which according to the website, serves what, what you say is underserved communities and people. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Michael, I, I would really like, of course, to thank you for, 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 your, for your time. I know you're a very busy person. You have a very, very busy schedule. Um, you, you won an award yesterday, and I'm very sure we're going to be seeing much more of that in the coming future. Uh, Michael, I'd like to thank you so much for stopping by again, and uh, I wish you happy networking. Mm -hmm.